Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alex. Today I'm gonna to be talking about scanography. So at the end of the video, after my little explanation here, I'm gonna be putting a little slideshow of some of my work and I'll also link down below links on my Instagram, my personal one and my scanography one. So you can get a feel of what that is. Also, you can just experience it on your phone. I do post there kind of frequently. So scanography simply is the act of taking a digital image with a flatbed scanner. That's it. So instead of taking a picture with a digital camera, your phone or a film camera, you're using the flatbed scanner, placing something on there generally, and then you scan it. And then the image that comes up, that is considered a scanograph. That's literally it. <laughs> And so when it comes to me and scanography, like my journey when getting into this kind of world, I didn't really know that there was a little community of scanographers out there. I just kind of had the idea one day to take a picture of a dandelion leaf on a scanner. It was just like this thought. I was like, I wonder what that, and I've always been really fascinated with nature, wild plants and flowers and all that stuff. I just had that idea one morning and I've been a photographer since I was younger. So that idea came up and I was like, I wonder what that would look like with like the white background from like the scanner. Um, usually there's like the white thing that you would just press on top of the scanner. I'm like a flat dandelion leaf with the white background. I wonder how that would come out. And so the idea came, I tried um, seeing if we had a scanner in the house that I was living at with a couple of roommates. We did not. So I kind of put the idea aside for a second like a week or so and randomly a I had a cleaning client I had cleaning business and one of my clients had just offered if I wanted their scanner printer because they just needed to buy the model above it and he couldn't um, he can you know return it or whatever so he just offered it if I wanted it and I, you know I was totally down for it and it was literally exactly what I needed when it came to a scanner at the time because it was you know high resolution it was everything I needed and I started from there and pretty much it evolved till this point now where I strictly only scan natural specimens so wildflowers leaves butterflies and I do a combination sometimes two or three things in one um, scanograph and I just scan those uh, natural specimens and scan them. It really complicates itself in that sense. It's nice that it's so simple because when you see these images, it's hard for me to even take credit for them because it's they're so detailed. Just within a feather, when you see the details that exists in it, it's you know it's mind blowing how much stuff. And you know I didn't do any of that, so it's hard to take like I said take credit for that because of what already exists within the feather i'm just literally putting it on a scanner and scanning it and um same thing with butterflies moths leaves wildflowers i mean there's there's so much to pick from and i feel like this will just be a never-ending journey which is awesome i'm totally down for it you know so um like i promised i'm going to be putting a little slideshow at the end of this and um playing some of my music as well as a slideshow of my work and oh one more point is I, scanography is interesting like why wouldn't I just take a picture with a camera up close or like some people that are into photography you know or you know are just photography you know, enthusiasts know about macro photography which is using a specific lens that kind of magnifies up close and like, why not just do that rather than scan? That seems like a lot of trouble. And it is quite the process to get a scan down. And it's interesting because it's like, so I explain it as like, you to get up close with your eye and look really up close to something, you get a, a certain look, you know, a certain perspective. And then with a microscope, you don't, it's a little too close. And then a macro lens and getting up close is its own thing as well and it's like this 
the scanography exists in between your naked eye and the microscopic world. I've seen the beads of essential oils of a lavender flower on it, but you could still see it as a lavender flower. You know, and I really, I you wouldn't be able to get that on a regular camera. Maybe, I mean, I haven't truthfully tried, but it's, so it's this weird world that exists right there. And so I'm fascinated by it. Everything I scan, it, I'm learning so much about it. And I, I'm, I hope you do too, you know? That's why I, may, I constantly create it because I want people to see that as well and experience that. And now every time I see a butterfly, especially one that I've already scanned, I look at it like out when I'm out on hikes or when I'm here at home. And it just like, there's a connection that I feel to it that, you know, I've seen it in such an intimate like look that I just am, it brings me a lot closer to the natural world around me. So, and I hope you get at least a glimpse of that in, you know, the next, in the pictures and the, I'm, you know, always scanning more stuff. So there's always going to be more stuff to look at. And I hope you get the same perspective as I do because I've been really enjoying this journey. Anyways, thank you so much. I'll go right into pictures and the music.